Spectre. No Spectre there. Picked up ever. They've never played. Sp- they channel their inner Pat Soul. That's what they got to do. Yes, yes, that is good advice. Their Yawar Pat Soul kind of style here. Moscow Five. They start the invade. Boot first tusk. He's got that snowball. He's ready for a fight. Who are they going to find though? ZXC ventures up top. He bumps into Puppy. And ooh, the snowball. They're getting their buddies inside of it. They're pinging out on Puppy. Oh my They're god. They're gonna dive this tower. <laughs> Puppy goes down. It's a first blood. Afterlife gets it, but now the turnaround. S4 gets a clap on the entire team. Sand King goes down first. ZXC on the run, but is it Show Me that gets left behind? They're what gonna the turn hell? it! Oh my god, oh. now Arteezy, he gets bashed. He's in trouble. He goes down. It's another snowball. What did they do? They're putting themselves on the high ground! On the high ground. What? what is this game? M5? No! No! This is a disaster. No! What do you what? do, GG. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Ladder 12. This has got to be some of the clients that I've ever cast in a couple of days. What do you do when this happens? This is the, the this is the worst thing you could do. <laughs> this is the worst. They don't have a TP. The quarter doesn't fly for three minutes. <laughs> it has to make its way all the way there. Oh my God! This There's is no over. Way that courier's making it there. I have never seen a team throw away the early game harder than this. They could snowball into the creep wave when it comes in. Maybe can they do that? I don't know. There it is. Okay, they'll snowball to the creep wave. That's something. But okay, their lanes are hashtag fucked. Oh, arrow! Comes arrow. In, nails Chomi in the face. He eats a plantain. The creeps are killing him. He might die to neutrals at this rate. Okay, he's alive for now. M5 with the four-man squad through the jungle. What an opener. Thank God they can get to that creep wave and reach it. I mean, when would they have made it out? Ever? I mean, that's Three good. minutes once the courier can bring out four TP scrolls, uh, I guess, you, is where you're waiting. I would love to have heard their Skype slash whatever at that point. <laughs> like, guys, what the hell did we just do? They're looking at How are we like, going to get out from here? Really, Renator? Really? <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, all right, well, Zyg is a good start in the off lane. Five and one on the bat rider. Mid S four is already level three. Dive this top lane. They are just trying their best to bully their way back into this game. Arrow will fly. Good timing goes right through the creeps. Obviously, snowball saves them. They launch it right back onto Arteezy. Do they consider making the go? But they're going to be going right into a creep wave with a catapult here. Oh, they're going in so deep. Arteezy in the tree line. This could turn around to be disastrous. Oh. A nice ice shards locks them in place. Oh. Shallow Grave keeps Big Num alive. They lose the Venno. Puppy really wants Big Num. He tries to time it out. He will get the last auto attack. It's a one for two trade in the top. Now S4 starts to rotate over. Maybe he can catch one. Nope, he will just move back to lane. So, so far the aggro try is working out pretty well. Easy hits six. He can start getting assists with Haunt. And the road recovery for Spectre should be pretty easy this game when you're talking about a Brewmaster and a uh, Bat Rider getting this much farm. Wants to commit onto okay. Troll Arrow. Nice connection onto Big Num. Big Num's going to be dead. He can't get the Grave off, though. Oh, Grave TP. He's fine. See you later. Oh, okay. Nice ice shards from Renator. But the big story is the bottom lane. A solo kill on the Bat Rider from this Sand. If he can wand, clap. All right, there you go. He can do it, and he will. Now Renator, a little bit low, but Afterlife on his way over. Burrow Strike onto S4. And you've got Ice Shards, nowhere for the Brewmaster to go, but back towards the Tusk, and he'll take the Axe. That is Renator that ends the streak. Gets a nice pet to his name. M5 are now up on kills. Six to... So he'll go right back down to the bottom lane, continue farming Afterlife. I was thinking that maybe wasting some efficiency in the jungle, but now he's number one on net worth, getting two kills on the Bat Rider solo. Then all those kills early on helping out a bit. Arrow in the mid lane connects onto Chomi, but does S4 actually have the damage? Afterlife comes in and says, Get away from my friend. They turn it around. The Brewmaster falls Snowball. again. Snowball in onto Puppy. He's got oh. a leap, and he'll be just fine. Ice shards fall short. Oh. Well, it's a good thing with the Marana. Pretty elusive. Can easily sidestep a snowball coming. Mm -hmm. No problem about that. In fact, their lineup it together. Up Does Arteezy die here? ZXC dives in ranged axes, melee axes. Tower goes down to the Radiant. Up the top lane, but that's not really happening. M5 starting to rotate up. Arteezy, still not too much to his name as he's now relegated to the Oh, jungle. mid lane, they get the jump onto the Venomancers, just trying to finish out a Midas, bro, but he's going to get caught stunned. Arrow comes through. Beautiful KS setup right there from Puppy. Yep, he still buys the Midas recipe, though, so not all bad. S4 up in the top lane, gets off a primal split, but it's used defensively here. Can he find a kill out of it? Big Numb, stunned up by the boulder, but he has a grave. He should be just fine. 
Arteezy on his way up, trying to push back Renator, but there's ZXC. It's a haunt. He tries the reality away, and it looks like he goes towards the mid lane. Sand King kills Puppy somewhere else. We're going to stay true to the course. Zai coming in. Once the cleanup kills, Brew brings down the Dazzle. And can they find another one? Looks like they'll make a ZXC sandwich as Kuro rotates in from the mid lane. Swap back. Sticky stacking up. There's your magic missile. And flame break just as Chomi comes in. Connects with the Venomous Gale. Arteezy oh. picks off the top row on the backside. Sand King comes in, brings down the Spectre. I feel like I just need to follow the Sand King. I'm not following the right heroes to find the kill. It's all over the place, to be honest. I mean, yeah, Afterlife is just doing some serious mileage coverage across this map. He moves in the mid lane, gets a nice pickoff kill onto the weak and wounded puppy, set up with the burrow. Takes his business to the top lane. See the, uh, the the screenshots from the victories after this. If Moscow if, Five take the win, if they get the win. If they, yeah. Now Venomancer, twelve minute Midas. This is a pretty good timing for the mid lane, and this is one of these heroes that can be very difficult to deal with if he gets all the farm that he wants. Once he gets that blank Ags Veil BKB kind of a kit. There is just no easy way to deal with it. As your BKBs get down to five seconds, that poison hurts. Renator, speaking of hurt, he's going to walk into a lasso poison. Now the high ground going to be the name of the game for him. Actually lives through the onslaught, gets into a snowball, but rest assured it'll be melted pretty quick by all this fire. Really? Yeah, there we go. It's a nice thing with Tusk because you can always prolong your death, which does create more time for them to kind of be there and deal with you and... That's when it's nice if you get like something like a blink dagger on your tusk. If you kind of go with that support road of a tusk where you want to be a savior or kind of help out your team or make good initiation calls. Oh, here comes a haunt though from uh, Spectre mid lane. They're going to get the kill on the Venomancer who dishes out everything he's got. Even the Dazzle ult, but they turn right back onto the Dazzle. Shallow Grave going to be popped. There's going to be the Cyclone. He comes down. He's going to be uh, in for a rude awakening here as he just gets clubbed. He goes down. Back from the dead. Tusk moves in. Snowball. Boop. Bink. Gets the chop. Kuroki falls. Afterlife comes from the low ground, but they chase. Onto the high ground is going to be Secret Squad. Zai moving forward. Walrus Punch gets the connection. Afterlife still living on. Well, oh, just as I say that, jump in. Thunder too. clap on his head. Now, now Nader, is he in some trouble? The sigil is down. Oh, really what an out. arrow from Puppy. Okay, he's definitely not going to live now. Sigil ain't going to save him off. Oh, one. my God. Oh, no, the <laughs> sigil. Puppy thought the auto attack went off, but it didn't. He still snowballs forward. They get the kill, but oh my God. a little close for comfort there. <laughs> he, like, turned back and away. I'm like, come no, on, it's, buddy. The, the sigil slows your attack. Worth. 3,700. The CS is only uh -oh. about 24. He needs this they kill. Him. He needs this kill. Moves on forward, gets the dagger. Burrow strike, though, connects nicely onto two. Afterlife looking to run. Sandstorm, flame break. Nice dodge with the blink. They even oh, pop the out the dust. Him. It's, not, it's not gonna connect, so we could reuse Sandstorm, but it's not gonna get there. They get the kill. It's S4 who grabs it. That was uncomfortably close. Yeah. He almost got away. He juked the dust. He had a burrow strike in like half a second when he died. He maybe could have reset things and survived there. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Chomi gets off the ultimate, but swap into arrow. Snowball comes in, resets things, save him, saves him, but the primal split comes out. Fire gets laid down. Chomi goes down, and now Renator falls as well. Ends up being a two for nil. Well played by the Tusk, but just not enough. Puppy dies to the DOTs. Pretty much the Too name much of the game almost for M5 is just how hard it is to take down these heroes. You can see on the top. The Sand King able to be elusive with his Sandstorm, his Blink and Burrow Strike, Tusk with Snowball, Dazzle with Shallow Grave. This is not an easy team to bring down, but Secret still managed to get it done. Now adding pressure on the Tier 1 Tower mid lane. It could be a good old exchange, though, as Moscow 5 go to work here on the bottom. It's been quiet here for this troll as far as getting involved with some of these fights. He's taking a little bit more of that me time, which he certainly needs to do. Ooh, nice shards. Almost connect on S4, but he'll be just fine. Makes it out. M5 do keep Arteezy away from the farm, which is also good. But now Moonlight Shadow going to be popped here. Looking to go on an adventure. You see both supports scouting out the M5 jungle while on the top lane. Taking flight. Zai looking to move on forward here. Reality as they're able to scout Whoa. out the Tusk and they take him down. No lasso. Close necessito. Call. Trying to TP, but flame breaks there to interrupt it. Nicely done. Easy pick. Now in the bottom lane. Swap Ooh. into arrow. Curl and Puppy are on point today. Big Nom goes down before he can grave. Great stun lock. But Sand King comes in. He'll make it a one for one. Support for support. And the Sand King, ooh, the big breadwinner here as he now secures his fourth staff off that. Venomancer, after grabbing the Midas and building up some farm, next item gets a Blink Dagger. So the early start of that Kamikaze kind of build up mm -hmm. for Venomancer. 
Uh, probably going to be looking to go for an Agnum Scepter next, yeah, and then pretty much your real item. Yeah, BKB Does help mitigate that damage on Venom. Could be the pipe guy for his team. Why not, right? Ah, pipe guy. Okay, pipe guy. I feel like at this rate, though, he's going to have slot issues if he goes for a pipe because he's already almost capped out with slots for now. ZXC lassoed, pulled back behind the tower. They've got the damage to bring him low, but can they finish him off? S4 primal split after the clap. Afterlife gets off an Epi, does some good damage, but no kills. ZXC very oh. low, will finally go down to S4. Now he's chasing out Renator. Looks like he'll continue to chase there. Kuro with a stun on the Chomi, right into an arrow. Chomi should be destined to fall, and Zai tangling with the bat, or with the, uh, the guy that just killed him, the Sand King. Wow, Bignum, what a save on the Venomancer. He does end up going down. Oh, what a jump and clean out from S4. Ultra kill on your brew. What an Ugh. awkward fight. That was all of these little 1v1s where everybody yeah. just like, it was like basketball. Just like, all right, I've got this guy. I've got my guard here. And it worked. They don't need it, though. Troll does it so damn fast. Yeah. Secret smoke up. They start making oh, movements. Oh, they got to run there quick. The Bat Rider, the one who can really get it done, was the one who helped out with that kill top gotta lane. Got to pull the trigger on the haunt. Just scare him out of the Roche pit. They're not going to get here in time. Roche goes down oh. to Radiant. Troll picks up the Aegis. Haunt. Now the haunt comes in. S4 pokes forward. Who do they have here? Sand King buys back for this. Snowball buys him a little bit of time. Solo Grave onto Big Num. But Chomi will be the first target to go down. Now they finish off the Tusk. It's a giant cluster around the Roche pit. But Dazzle goes down next. It's looking bad for Moscow 5. ZXC does still have the Aegis. Sand King trying to make it here. They get a recovery kill onto the Spectre. That helps, but it's already a 1 for 3. S4 bumps into Afterlife. Remember, he does have the epicenter here, so maybe a chance for some more kills. Stun onto Kuro. ZXC makes it happen. Now it's a two for three. Are we still on chase? Okay, no, he decides to pull back. S4 and Bruce split right there doing a lot of work to help them out in the early start. Of the I'm very curious to see what he's going to get. Yeah, can't underestimate the power of the sigil either. Tusk is putting some points in. We'll see initiation onto the Bat Rider. Swap out to keep him safe. Kuro takes the Walrus Punch. Axes go flying around. There's that Ice Shards. And Renator, does he actually end up falling here? He snowballs into the base. You better find this kill. He brings Afterlife with him. Renator goes down one for one. But it is M5 asserting their dominance here. They dive into the tier threes for that. Split push is real, though. S4 gets a tier two tower in the bottom lane. And meanwhile, Arteezy just continues to soak up farm in that safe lane. Nothing of value really lost here for Secret. They just trade one for one, but mm -hmm. getting those towers does tip that little skirmish into their favor. Scotty now complete on your troll. Jim top. The next second, he's at the ancient camp of Radiant Side taking out a Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, he is absurdly fast. Top tier one tower will fall. There is not a glyph available, and they give this last hit to Arteezy. It'll help his bottom line, of course. Puppy, meanwhile, in the bottom lane, trying to repel this push at their tier two. Axe is okay never mind here we go there's the initiation blink in primal splits used they'll put the troll up in the cyclone they isolate the tusk he goes down next and they're just gonna try to chase down show me not much the veno can do to get out he falls zxc almost tp's home the arrow misses him but there's that cyclone from the storm panda and this will be a disastrous fight for m5 Super come back the uh, hammers are falling from the sky. S4 and it's a three for nil. is going crazy on this brew. 14, he is playing, 2, and 10? He is playing so good. It's like he's David. totally the unsung hero. He's 14 and 2, so you can't see he's an unsung hero, but you get caught up in everything else that's going crazy in this game. You just kind of forget the fact that he's S4 been putting in so much work. Actually melting faces. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very true. They're looking for a gank onto Afterlife. They smoked up for this, and they won't find it. Actually, did they smoke in it? I'm not even sure. Getting loopy at this hour, man. Your Brewmaster, though, has his experience. This yeah. lead is just jumping in the favor of the Dyer. You see the kills really adding up. 36 to 19. Now M5 go for a very high-risk play here into the Roche pit. Uh -oh. Secret already and waiting. They didn't even smoke in here. Oh, CXC caught by the lasso. Split from S4. There will be a snowball, but... Just buys them a little bit of time. Big Num goes down first. Now ZXC in the middle of the pit. Fire being laid down. He's whirling those axes, but it just doesn't seem to make a difference. Walrus punch on Zai. He shrugs it off. Panda's starting to go down. Burrow strike away, but Puppy chases him down. Chomi misses the Gale. Now on the other side of the fight, ZXC finally dies. As Arteezy joins the party, uses the haunt. Reality's in. Now going hard onto Chomi. Following in to Afterlife. Can he close the gap? It looks like Afterlife may live, but 
quite obviously here a very successful fight for Team Secret. No mm. buybacks utilized. All five still alive. And they kill three on the side of Moscow 5. And if they want, they could heal up here. They have Puppy with a couple of Ur charges to start sending out. And they will go for the Roche. So they will take the Aegis themselves. That was... Ballsy is an understatement there for Moscow 5. They just kind of smoke like, in. Let's just go for Roche. I mean, there's this ward right here. <laughs> it's Solemn coming from a mile away, and they're just like, yep, let's just like, charge. You know, I don't see Secret on the map. Maybe they aren't at Roche. Let's just go in and make it happen. I don't know. That seemed like a gamble, a, a, a roll of the dice, but they got... Fills the epi, and oh, no, he does Second lasso is going to catch Troll and pull him back now. Buy back onto the Sand King, though. Here's your haunt. This is rough for M5. They're oh. putting up the best fight they can, but I just don't think they can do it. The snowball stops Arteezy in front of the well, but now Renator. Boom, bada bing. Yeah, it's Crits old. from S4. Whoa! Whoa! Big epi comes out, but Secret just live right through it. They shrug it off and go, yeah, nice epi. We're still alive. Sun Renator now dieling with the split of the Brewmaster. That's a dieback for him. Arteezy still alive. Cyclone onto the Venomancer. He's getting low, but not low enough to be afraid of squaring up against Shomi. Now the Venom goes down, and M5 will tap out. GG is called. What a series, man. Woo. What a series. People come into this series like this. They see the odds, and they figure, Secret are going to get in here and just do whatever the hell they want. Well, for yeah. two games, they pretty much did. But... <laughs> But props again to Moscow 5. This team came in late notice. I don't know if they were playing in anything else. They could have just been like quickly throw together their five-man roster, which is clearly some new players. And they take the spot of Virtus Pro. Their first day, their M5 do keep Arteezy away from the farm, which is also good. But now Moonlight Shadow going to be popped here. Looking to go on an adventure. You see both supports scouting out the M5 jungle while on the top lane. Taking flight, Zai looking to move on forward here. Reality as they're able to scout Whoa. out the Tusk and they take him down. No lasso, Close Necessito. Call. Trying to TP, but flame breaks there to interrupt it. Nicely done. Easy pick. Now in the bottom lane, swap Ooh. into arrow. Curl and Puppy are on point today. Big Nam goes down before he can grave. Great stun lock, but Sand King comes in. He'll make it a one for one. Support for support. And the Sand King, the big breadwinner here as he now secures his fourth staff off that. Venomancer, after grabbing the Midas and building up some farm, next item gets a Blink Dagger. So the early start of that Kamikaze kind of build up mm -hmm. for Venomancer. Uh, probably going to be looking to go for an Agnum Scepter next, yeah, and then pretty much 